Hi guys, Carl Blake here and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Hairy Armpits and All. Yay! So if you're new to this channel, hi, welcome. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below, all that good stuff. If you are coming back, hi, how are you once again? Let me know how you are in the comments below, all of that stuff and also wanted to ask you guys to, if you have anything that you want me to play with, buy, test out, trial, see how it goes, let me know in the comment section below, because I'd really like to try more sort of stuff. Ooh, nearly knock something over again, because I'm shit. I like to do that in this channel. I nearly throw pallets and all that sort of shit. So, today, what I'm going to do in this video, I saw a video, uh, not a video, saw a photo this morning. Oh, I don't know who, can't remember where I saw it, of a girl that had like this red eyeshadow that was like smoky black, very vampy, so I thought, you know what? This is a perfect chance to finally play with the last bit of this palette before I do my giveaway, which is <gasps> at the end of the video. So obviously stay tuned and keep on watching. Let's dive into it. I am going to use the EYN Bright Matte 42 palette from Beauty Bay, yes, that's right, Beauty Bay, is that correct? Yes, Beauty Bay. I'm gonna be using this on my eyes, I'm gonna use more of the top row, as we kind of have seen in the little, what is it, the insert that I'm gonna do, probably on the screen right now, as you'll see. I'll probably be dipping into white lies, nothing else. Bare necessities, what is it? Preppery pecan, what the fuck does that mean? Threat and maybe illicit, as you see illicit is fucking black as hell probably be using one of the reds, which is poppin' poppy and hot stuff. These shadows fuck my tongue up. But let's get started with the video. I'm gonna do my foundation, all that sort of stuff, which will most likely consist of me just using the same as I've been always using, just trying to pick it up and point it, which is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation I use F6, more so on the outer perimeters of my face because it's a little bit of a darker, Oh, shade I've got, and then probably use the Conceal and Define once again, Full Coverage Foundation from Makeup Revolution in F, F3, or more of the T-Zone on my face, just so it gives it the brightening look and all that sort of stuff. So, you will see me in a moment, I'm gonna do my brows, I might say what I use on them, I might not, but I will be back in a moment. So guys, for what I'm gonna do at the start, I'm going to prep my eyelid, do all that sort of stuff. Let's dive into the video, let's get this all a rockin' and a rollin' and yeah. So first of what I'm going to do is prep my eye, I'm going to use the MAC Painterly in Paint Pot. You'll see the Paint Pot. Come on, focus! Here we are, Paint Pot. Mine is dry and fucked up, as I've said in a previous video, because I use it a shitload, as you want to see. Yeah, it's gone all cracked and that, but... I can't remember how old it is, but I'm still going to use it, because it works. But yeah, I'm going to get my finger right up in there, gonna coat that shit. So first off I'm going to prep my eye with the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and just do it on my right eye first. And I like to use my finger for this because I feel like it just does a better coverage than using a brush because I think mine's dried out so it works better. Little tip too, if you're fair like me, you can use this under your eye if you want to see just to get rid of those dark circles and look, gone. Or not gone. But hidden, a little bit more than normal. See if you got no time for a busy ass day because you got kids or whatever. Just pop a little bit on this under your eye. Dark circles, who are you? So first off, I'm going to use a Morphe M441 brush and dip into the shade Nothing Else. Coat the brush quite a bit. Tap off the excess. Jeez. And just coat my lid with that. This I'm going to use as more of the transition shade, as they call it? Shade. I can't speak English. Even though I'm from Australia, I can't speak English. You're welcome for that. Yes. I'm just going to dust it more around my brow bone at the moment too. And on my lid, I'm just going to pack it on just so I can... Pretty much the same shade as Painterly, so you're not really seeing it. Basically just going to be setting Painterly now, so nothing else will stick. And because I'm a fair bitch, I'm going to go in with a Morphe M167 brush and dip into White lies. Put a little bit on there. Tap off the axis. I'm just going to use this to highlight my brow bone a little bit. 
because it's white and I'm fair as shit. Just going to make a little bit, obviously, whiter. White. So I'm going to go back in with that same Morphe M441 brush and dip into bare necessity. Tap off the excess. And because I've got a hooded eye, what I'm going to do is more of like a V, almost a C sort of shape and just blur it out a little bit or blend it out. Blur, blend, same shit. I'm going to dip back into that nothing else and just blend the top bit up. So now we're going to use a Morphe M456 brush, this little tapered domed blending brush like this. And I'm going to dip, dip into Preppy Pecan, a nice brown shade right in the middle. I'm just going to tuck this into the outer V of the eye first, just pat it in this uh, more of the coloured pigment can just stick on that part of the eye. And working its way up into my crease just a little bit. Now because of my hooded eye, I'm just going to create a kind of V winged out sort of cat eye look. Just pulling it out ever, slow, ever so slightly. And now it's in the shape I kind of want it, I'm now just going to blend it out a little bit. Smoke it out. I'm going to go back in with that Morphe M441 brush and just blend it out even more. Smoke it out. So I'm going to now use another Morphe M166 brush. I'm going to pack it on with hot stuff. Coat that brush. As you see, nice and coated. I'm just going to pack this onto the eye. So I'm going to be using the same brush that we used to dip into the Bare Necessity, the M441 brush. And just lightly tap into hot stuff. Like just a little bit lightly. And just blend it out. So now I'm going to use a Morphe M506 brush, and dip into Elicit. And what I'm going to do is first place this onto the outer corner of my eye. Blend it in. And I'm just work my way up. I'm going to use that Morphe M441 brush once again and just diffuse that black and blend it out. It has still a little bit of red on it, which I want it to do, so it hopefully connects the two together. I'm going to go back in once again with that Morphe M167 brush, dip into white lines and just pack that onto the top of my lid here. There's your first packing it. Because the shade won't stick that well, I know it's not going to. I'm now going to just fluff it out gently to help that blend. So I'm gonna go dip into Elicit once again with that Morphe M506 brush, just to deepen out that corner just a little bit more. I'm also just gonna pack it on and slightly blend up. And just blend it out. Just slightly flicking it. So now I'm going to do my right eyebrow. I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. This product is really good, it's got a little spoolie at the end of it, so I can just detach, diffuse, open up my eyebrow just a little bit more. And first I'm just going to stroke just a little bit gently into the areas that I want it to go. Now 
Now because my brow looks like utter trash, I'm going to use that spoolie side and just blend it out just a little bit. What it helps do is help just diffuse that colour just a little bit. So the front of it's not blocky. Alright guys, so now this part of my eye is finished, my brow is laid down, the eyeshadow is also laid down. For now, might need some blending a little bit later, all that sort of stuff, so stick around, it's not going to look completely like trash, but what I'm going to do is do the other eye off camera, get it all ready, and then we're going to do foundation, all that sort of stuff, so stick around. Alright guys, so now I've got my eyes all on, I'm just going to use a makeup wipe just to wipe the excess that's under my eyes. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is do the rest of my face, like the foundation, the concealer, all that sort of stuff. I'm not going to prep or prime my face, only because I've already been in the shower, I've already done my face with like my moisturizers, all that sort of stuff. So what you can do is fast forward through this bit. As I said at the start, I use my Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution. I use the F3 in the inner perimeter of my face, and then the F6 on the outer perimeter. So stick around, if not, skip ahead, do what you want, all that sort of stuff. Mm. Now using a little damp beauty blender sponge, this is the one from Morphe, came in the giant James Charles brush set. Haven't used this yet, so this is going to be a little first impressions if it's actually good. A lot of people say it's not, but we'll see. Oh, tap it, tap it, tap it. I feel like it does the same exactly the same as a normal beauty blender sponge, so people say it doesn't work as well, get fucked. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in C1. I'm just going to do this under my eyes for that little bit extra cover. So now I'm going to set under my eyes with the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. I put it in this little container only because it's a pain in the ass to get it out of that fucking little jar it comes out of. So, I'm going to dip into it with my sponge using that nice little angle side and press it under my eyes. I'm going to set down the bridge of my nose too, just so hopefully, even though it's no colour, it'll make it ooh, and uh, ooh. So hopefully it'll make it just a little bit more brighter. Then we'll do it under the lips too, just in case. So I'm now going to go in with MAC in the shade Melba. I use this as contour. Even though this is a blush, it works very well for me as being very pale. Because it adds a little bit of colour, but it's got more of a mauve brownie sort of tone. So it works very well for me and my skin tone as a contour. And just place it where I'd normally put a contour. I'm just going to tap some of this into my little beard. Some of you ladies might not need to follow along. If you want to, it's up to you. You do you. So I'm just going to tap a little bit of that same Melba into my beard just so it gives it a little bit of that colour back into it. So I'm just going to use a little Real Techniques little fluffy, br fluffy brush like this. Tap into Melba again and just go down my nose just a contour and slim it out just a little bit. Now with like a little angle brush, I'm just going to flick away some of that powder, just get rid of that bank. So now I'm going to just do my highlighting over my face and all that sort of stuff, which I'm going to use my MAC uh, Soft and Gentle 
highlight. And now you're gonna clock me too for having the Jeffree Star one. I don't wanna use that. So I'm gonna use a nice little Morphe tape brush, an M431, and just do down the bridge of my nose just to make it slashed. And to get rid of some of that cakey, little dusty sort of look, I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It's set and prep. Either way, I'm going to dust my face with this. Mm. And while that's still on my face and a little bit wet, I'm going to go back in with that MAC highlighter again and just dip this over the top, just give it more of a bam. To do the rest of the eye, I'm going to use a Morphe M167 brush, little flat top brush again. Dip into my highlight, I'm going to use this on my brow bone, just underneath the brow, just to make it nice and glossy. And with that Morphe M166 brush that we used before to like really coat on with the red, I'm going to use the same brush again, going back into hot stuff. I'm going to do it under my eye now, just to create that smoky red, red look. I'm not going to smoke it out too much, so I'm just going to try and put it in close to my waterline as much as possible. So now, it's like I've done a Morphe product placement. So I'm gonna use the Morphe color pencil in black room, I think it is, no, dark room. I'm gonna use this under my eye waterline just to make it all nice and smoky and black. And then we're gonna use some shadow just to blend it out. So give me one moment while I do this. So now I'm going to use a very small little blending brush, the Morphe M152. I'm going to dip back into Illicit and just blend out that end. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is just curl my lashes, put some mascara on, do all that sort of stuff, and I will be right back in a moment with the completed look. I'm also going to do my lips too, because you know, that's not complete without it, so I will be right back. Alright guys, so that's the look all completed now. I use MAC Oak on my lips just to line it out, and I also use two of the Miss Fame lipsticks in Flash of Flesh and How's Your Head. I used How's Your Head first as a base, and then I use the Flash of Flesh in the middle just to give it a bit of a brighter sort of life sort of look. Give it that, I don't know, called three dimensional, either way, whatever. Put these two on my lips, did all that, and I just use the Benefit Roller Lash on the top of my lashes, and then also the NYX uh, Extra Mints Skinny Mascara on the bottom, just so, because it's a very small wand, as I'll try and show you. See? Very small one, it's great to get on the bottom lashes. So yeah guys, this is the completed look. Not, I quite honestly last little play with this sort of palette because I probably used it again, but for this sort of competition that I was doing with my previous two videos, so I'm happy to announce the winner of the Beauty Bay 42 Bright Matte Palette, which is, drum roll please, Jack Dot Vault, which is up here in this area. Thank you so much for entering the competition. As I did see, you did a lot of comments, so you're most likely going to win. But thank you so much for supporting me, obviously watching these videos, even if you just skip ahead. Either way, thank you so much. I will message you on Instagram, get your details, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, this is the kind of, not, I won't say final look, I've kind of rushed it a little bit. Uh, but either way, still standing, it's still good, still gorgeous. I did want to ask you guys to leave comments down below just so you can let me know other little products you want me to try, buy so you don't have to, we can review things together, give me suggestions, as I said, down below in the comments, do that for me. So, thank you for watching guys, stay tuned for my next video, I'm going to potentially play with these little three babies and maybe give them away too, maybe one to three people, who knows, the future is endless. But. Thank you so much for watching guys, see you on the next one.